Welcome back to Mersin. Today my goal is to ride to Adana. Wish me luck. Tarsus, Adana. Ancient road here. Safe to say this place has fruit and vegetables. Tarsus 10, Adana 50. Goodbye Merson, hello Tarsus. Ataturk. And here we are entering Tarsus, birthplace of St. Paul, Cleopatra's Gate. Entry into the old city of Tarsus. Find some lunch. And talk to your donor. So that was Tarsus. Now, I know Tarsus was the birthplace of St. Paul, Saul of Tarsus, and Timothy was Paul's assistant and companion in his travels my namesake. However, I'm not a big fan of Paul myself, just my opinion, but I feel like when he formalized Christianity, he did it in a way that departed from Jesus' teachings. Jesus taught pure, straight monotheism, but Paul, he watered that down and he created the Trinity, basically turned Jesus into a demigod, so he was easier to sell to the Roman Empire, and turned Christianity into a polytheistic religion. One of the reasons why Islam is so specific about maintaining the Quran in its original form of Arabic because they don't want somebody like Paul coming in and changing Islam after the fact. Now, that's just my opinion. People can agree, disagree with me if they want, that's fine. But I'm just not a big fan of Paul myself. Saul of Tarsus. I mean, he was persecuting Christians, then all of a sudden he has this big turnaround, you know, if you can't beat him, join him. And then changed it from what Jesus taught. On the website for Tarsus, it says, birthplace of St. Paul who contributed the most to Christianity. And I'm thinking, okay, what about Jesus? So yeah, Jesus comes in second place, Paul first. Anyway, that was Tarsus. Continuing on to Adana now, one of the oldest continuously named cities in the entire world. Early Hittite texts refer to it as Adana, and it comes from the ancient Proto-Indo-European root word Adanu, which means on the river. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Looks like we've got some road work here. on the right side again. Yeah, nice. Skirts of Adana now.
city is down this way. Glass bottles sticking out of those domes. Adana kebab. Anyone ever had this? Ayran? It's a classic here in Turkey. It's basically buttermilk. Adana kebab. Notice the way they put the bread under the meat to catch all the drippings. That's the best tasting bread. Adana kebab has always been my favorite Turkish food. I've wanted to come to Adana for a long, long time. Delicious. That's the kind of place you gotta find. The one's packed with locals and you know it's gonna be good. Ancient mosque here. Is that Ataturk skiing? Hell yeah. And he's disintegrated. Old Turkish bath over here. Yeah, there's historical buildings here for sure, but it's not clean cut like Antalya. It's all gritty. Really intense.
Turta. We've got another very nice ancient Turkish bath. Decrepit old derelict Ottoman building. Ah, that minaret over there is the Grand Mosque of Adana. 1541. Incredible Renaissance Mosque. Oh, yes. We'll spread that out over here. For Friday. Juma. This is where I'm This is table cloth. Mm. Okay, an old cemetery out there. It's Freddy Tudor, not Freddy Mondor. Yeah, right. This is women, women, women wash. Yep. Bayanlar için abi. Who do? Bayanlar. Yok, banyo değil, banyo değil. Bayanlar abdest alır, bayanlar ayet. Bayan bu da. Bayan, bayan gibi duruyor. Yok abi, bayan olur mu öyle? Camide bani olmaz. Kafalı abi. This is women, women wash inside. Yes, yes. Man no. Yeah. This is man inside wash. Yes. Şadırma. Hmm. This is... This is mask. This is mask. Father open some finish. This is kuzan. Come on, please. What is the job? Camera. Camera? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Look, this is this is mosque named Saray Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Same to family. Ah. This is Saray uh, Tunal Padishah Khan Kral here. Kral. You mm -hmm. understand? You speak Turkish? Mm, little. Uh, this is Balas Mosque. Balas. Mm. Doropon people. People are still in Rome, Londra, Paris, Istanbul. Crazy people. Mm. This is women pray. Ah yes, women up there. This is uh, this is all people problem. Oh, so yes, they see. No people okay. Look, balance. No camera, no be back guys. Door mm. open. People still in Rome, Londra, Paris. Look, original. Ah, original. The original experience. Fifteen forty one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a mazim. Mm, yeah, mazim. This is microphone. Mazim. This is imam. Yeah. Every day, okay, together pray. Yes, mihrab. Yeah. This is uh, Freddy. Yep. One microphone, two microphone, three, four. Every day, Friday. Friday, yeah. Yeah, Friday, every day. Sud, Ali, Omar, Abu Bakr. Yeah. Mecca. Yeah, Qibla. Yeah, Qibla. Yeah, Qibla. Friday, every day. Neman said, people said, was speak. Look. This is Father Opon. Sunfish, this is Kuzan. It's no original handmade. Original. Touch, yeah. Iran guys. Iran member. Member. What is down here? This is Kabrisan. Halil Bey, Pirifusha. Original family. Ah, uh, yeah. Cemetery. Yeah. Okay, okay. Original. Mausoleum. Yeah, Muslim, mm. Muslim. Women pray. Yes. Yeah. Ah. This is Big Book. Zia Pasha. Uh, Zia Pasha. Yeah. This is Kotor Yadlu. Kabrisan. Fabrizan, this is Pishkiria. 
Flower Festival. <laughs> ah, Zia Pasha. Zia Pasha. Fotograf, I think. Mm. Tricia English Pishkir. How many likes are you going to do? Every two years you get expensive. I'm going to do it. 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 Okay, we're seeing this old church. Good church. It's not often you see an intact and functional Christian church in these neck of the woods. Very nice apps. And a beautiful nave. Saint Paul Church. Saint Paul, huh? Saint Paul, Baba Kitlisa. This was a major nexus point for ancient trade routes. It was the main way they got across this very large and important river. It was originally commissioned by Emperor Hadrian in the second century AD when he toured this area. That gigantic mosque out there it's the second biggest in Turkey after the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, and it's one of the largest in the entire Middle East. But it's fairly new. Completed in 1998, holds 28,000 worshippers. We'll be checking that out in a little bit. The Battle of Saurus took place here in 625 AD, a battle between the Byzantine and Sassanid empires. The Byzantines won after they charged across this bridge and stormed the camp of the Sasanian dynasty on the other side. It's pretty amazing to think about the Byzantine soldiers charging over this bridge. This mosque was built on the site of an Armenian cemetery. They're just rubbing it in at this point. 